Hi there! This tutorial will show you how to find the path for a unit. So if you have got a skin and you don't know where to attach it, like if you if you download this cool skin from Hive Workshop and open the readme file and see that set location to this is blank, then you don't know what path the skin needs. You don't know where to what the location should be. So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta close this. You gotta open the Warcraft 3 World Editor. And um, like I said in the other tutorial, you gotta have the Frozen Throne Edition. So you gotta find the path for a unit. And how you do that is you go to the object editor. And that is this little icon looking like a helmet. You can also press F6 or go to module and press object editor. And it might take a little while before it pops up, but it will be there. And once it's up, you gotta find the text, the unit that you have the texture for. So I have a uh, I have a skin for the um, Blood Elf Lieutenant, so I gotta find the Blood Elf Lieutenant. And as we all know, the Blood Elf Lieutenant does not exist in the original game. It exists in the campaign, so we gotta press campaign, and we gotta find it under units. And here it is. And you gotta press that, and you gotta find a place in here where it's written Art Model File. And click that. Open that. Double click. You will see a preset. It's placed under units and blood of lieutenant. But you gotta see the path, and that's here in the bottom. That's the units backslash other backslash blood of lieutenant backslash blood of lieutenant. And all you gotta do is copy this. And once that's done, you gotta find the texture. You know, you imported the texture in the import manager. So we will open the import manager. And I did not import the model yet, uh, sorry, the skin, but it's here. And once it's imported, you just gotta use custom path and enter it here. So just uh, paste. And once that's done, this should be finished, but it's not. You gotta end it by .blp or else it would not be a texture. So it would not attach to the model unless you do dot blp in the end. And as we see, the uh, the full path has changed. And um, once that's done, you just gotta put a start location in your map and the blood of lieutenant in your map. And when you start your map, you're going to um, see that the blood of lieutenant has changed skin. I'm just gonna change it uh, switch into another recorder that's better at recording games. So, um... And as you see, the skin has attached itself to the model. And, um... This is a very cool skin, so I'm definitely gonna use it for my map. And if you place one more of those units on the map, the unit will have the same skin, and if you place a million more Blood of Lieutenants on the map, your computer will crash. And, um... Thank you for watching! Remember to comment and rate.